back. Uh, found another campsite down here, and I was kind of going for the whole man down by the river. Uh, this is just a dirty little creek. Don't want to get too muddy. It's kind of been raining on and off all day. Yeah, just a little sloppy out here. I'd say there's probably not much for fishing in here. That, oh, as I say that, something just jumped over there. This is definitely a spot where you'd want to use like a topwater frog in the evening, but I don't have anything like that with me. But, so we come back up here, nice little campsite. Dirty old fire pit, got a table, and the van. So, what do I got going in here? since we went and bought some junk. We'll put the mattress pad on, it's laying down there. I got a couple things of food and the pots and pans. Uh, I did bring a blanket, although I don't think I'll need it. It's just like a throw blanket, so it's not a, not a real big one. And then, oh, something I do want to get set up pretty quickly here. This thing, let's do that quick. I just had a tick on my leg. All right, so this is a little collapsing uh, table that was sent in during one of the live streams and this is what I've used on like a hiking trip and pretty sure I took it with me on my last motorcycle trip. I've got a larger one but I kind of thought this might work in here to set right next to the cooler for right now so it just folds out. Got these, let me get the dirt and junk off of the bottom of this one. Try not to put too much of that in my in here now I'm paranoid that I am gonna get some ticks out here it's probably because I just walked down by the creek I'll just pop in like so there's your legs and then this doohickey just goes oh bam oh bam there we go nice table and we set it over here kind of where I've got all this junk there's our mattress thing a little bit of food, and this should fit. Boom, right there. So there you go, little bedside table. Why don't we pop these windows open? I gotta say, I'm not a huge fan of the way these things work. You gotta pull this handle towards you and then push, and I feel like I'm gonna break them every time I do this. There we go. Just trying to be a gentle with them. Because this one's broken. That was like that when I bought the van. Well, this chair has definitely seen better days. It's just one from the basement. It's missing the bolt right in the middle here. Yeah, that's gonna need, need replaced, I think. And it's a little warmish out here. Let me give you guys a, I guess a little bit of a forecast. It's currently 78, 85% humidity. Uh, tonight it's only a low of 72 and there's about a 50, 57% chance we're going to get some storms this evening, which is going to kind of suck. The problem I have is I don't have any windows that I can open while it's raining, which is terrible. I, I had this grand plan to build these window vents for the front windows and use like a gutter guard or something. Uh, and I picked the stuff up and... In my head, I thought it was going to work out perfectly, but uh, I had in my in my head my assumption was when I rolled the windows down in the front that they stayed in the the rails the entire way. So I just had a square I had to block out. Uh, but as you're sitting there on the back of your arm, 
like if you roll the window down, it separates in the back. So as soon as you get the window down a couple inches, there's like a big one inch gap on the back side that goes all the way down. Uh, so I've kind of got to rethink that plan. And ultimately, if I build something that's like shaped like that, it's just going to be a pain to carry around. So not stoked on that, but still stoked on the van. Van and it's cool, man. Uh, so it's going to be a little warm, but it's summer and we're kind of in, everybody's kind of been in a heat wave, I guess. Uh, so what do you do? I guess we'll find out if we get some storms tonight. And I just suffer in there in the heat. I've been looking at different ideas for, um, I, I don't know, not, not necessarily a tarp, uh, but an awning. Why don't I grab a drink? Like, what am I doing? It's time for a cold, cold cerveza. Let's sip it on Gatorade. You guys will be happy we've got the booth cup. Uh, so I picked up something new that I have never seen before. I think it might be a brand new thing to them, but it's Zipline Brewing Can Opener Tropical Ale. Zipline is a local brewery. I might break this chair before the end of the night. Um, crushable, tart, and refreshing. Ripe guava and zesty lemon will transport you to a tropical paradise. Jump in. Uh, zip lines out of Lincoln and uh, says this is 5% brewed with guava and lemon. Um, I wonder if it's going to be like grapefruit or pink or something. Kind of looks like grapefruit juice. It's going to have a lot of head on it. Not too shabby. Kind of a basic looking brew in the cup here, but... Uh, we were talking about the awning. So I've come across some different styles. And there's one... There's, there's multiple companies that kind of make something similar, I think. But one that I recently saw is called a Moonshade. And it's kind of like the top part is a tent. You have a couple of poles that go through. And then it's got two legs but it comes in a bag. It basically looks like a bag chair. And so you unfold it and then you attach it however you would like to attach it to your roof or your rack or whatever like that. So you don't have to drive around with a big old awning hanging out there. Um, and they have different attachment stuff like magnets, uh, different ways to attach to your, your bars, suction cups, all sorts just for that top piece. And given that this is all metal, it's not like the truck topper, which is fiberglass, I could easily use some nice magnets to secure the top of the awning up there. Just put some felt on the bottom of them or something. Well, actually, I guess you'd be, I don't know how the, how if you would stick it right on the awning material. I think it actually clips to the outside or something. Put a couple pieces of felt or even like uh, paint protection film on there or on the roof if you wanted to and boom, you can set up an awning and it's got a lot of adjustment. I don't know. And you could, the, the nice part is that since it's mobile, you can move it from vehicle to vehicle. You could use it on a car, at whatever. You can attach it to the back. You could put it on the other side if you're parked weird, or you can run it over here. So that's one I'm looking at. It is a little bit pricey, so I've kind of looked to see if there's cheaper ones on Amazon, but we'll see. I think I might end up getting something like that. Once again, though, it's just something else that I have to carry around. So cheers, we haven't even tried the beer yet. That's different. It's good. I think the guava is probably what I'm tasting. Like, uh, I just got in my head that it's going to taste like grapefruit juice. Not too shabby, y'all. Not too shabby at all. Just gorgeous afternoon. Really cloudy. 
been cloudy all day and it's sprinkled on and off like I said earlier. Um, and if the clouds go away, I believe tonight is supposed to be a full moon. They're calling it like the sturgeon moon or something. At least that's what I saw on a local Facebook page. But Maybe we'll see a big moon later. But it stays cloudy like this, probably not. Although I'm thoroughly enjoying the cloud cover right now. Cheers, everybody. Well, I'd like to say there's a tear in my beer, but it's a nasty old fly. He's still alive. He's gonna have a, probably gonna have himself a very weird evening. That's awesome. Anyways, at least I was about halfway done with it. Not too worried about the cup itself. Pour another one in there. I mean, the alcohol should kill it, right? The sun just peaked out a little bit. It's kind of breezy, but I'm not really getting a ton of it right here because of all the trees. Well, why don't I actually try to put that mattress thing down before we open another beer? Although I didn't bring any, I guess I got a pocket knife if I need to cut it, but... Or I can just fold it over, I guess. Maybe it'll fit just fine. It's actually perfect. It's going to be hard to stick it under there, though. All right, we'll find out if that helps at all. Let's go for a wander, see if we can see anything over here. I don't know. Yeah, there's a couple more camp spots. This one wouldn't have been terrible either. You get a decent view of the Green Creek. Kind of looking for, there's a poking stick right there I might use. Oh, there's another campsite right here. I didn't even drive over here, just parked it. This one would have been by the dumpster, but would have been kind of private. Is there straight up lake access or creek access? Not really, but you're kind of, you got your own little doodad there. This one looks fairly well used, lots of trash in the firing. Yeah, just a little circle in here. There's a couple, just a couple spots over there. What are those benches? Look at that. There's like a, is that a concrete? There's like a gazebo or something here at some point. You can see the, you can see the border of it. And it would have been right like on this curve in the little creek if this was all cut down. And there's just three little benches, I guess, chilling over here. It's kind of odd. Yeah, it makes me wonder what was right there. like it's only in the front I don't know I wonder if there was a little stage or something here huh 
This is all overgrown. And that's the end of it, just right here at the road. Well, why don't we see if we can find ourselves some firewood in any of these other fire pits. A little bit. Looks like there's a bunch over at that one, though. There we go. Somebody collected a bunch. <laughs> now I'm going to collect this one way or the other. Don't mind me if my shorts fall down. Up my bridges. There we go. What's your trick of the day? I've shown this before. But my pants are going to keep falling down on the walk back to the campground. into our own wood. Try to cook supper tonight before it gets dark. I don't know what's in that Amigos bag, but we're gonna burn it. Kind of hard to see, but had a few horse trailers show up. I don't know if they're spending the night, but there are trails around here. It's pretty cool. Well, all the horse ladies left. Well, they, I shouldn't say they left. They went for a ride, but it's probably time to make dinner before we lose all of our light. Uh, brought my little pot and pan set have in here we got some tater chips Put in here we've got some andouille sausage got a pack of red beans and rice so I'm gonna throw that sausage on the fire for a little while and then we'll slice it up and we'll cook the red beans and rice in our pot on the fire. Uh, light. <laughs> light in the cooler. Batteries died. I did bring the grenade hot sauce, so we're gonna give this a try on the red beans and rice. That was sent into the PO box. And then to go with that, got ourselves a, now the light's tripping out. We've got ourselves a roll of bread. And we're gonna try these habanero tostitos along with some uh, queso blanco dip. Yes, let's get this stuff cooking up. Okay. 
gotta keep my doors closed so the dang old flies don't get in there. Well, we'll start with this sausage. It's just Johnsonville and Dooley smoked sausage. We're gonna toss the whole thing on there. Our rusty grill gate, because I'm a savage. That's a big wiener. You can't just make half a wiener, right? All right, well, that's chilling. Let's, uh, I guess see what we have to do to make these red beans and rice. Just a little bit of water and heat it up. It'll be all right. Try these chips and dip. Habanero. I don't think I've ever had the habanero tostitos before. Got a little bit of a kick to it. Be good with that dip, though. For saying that they're habanero, they're not that spicy at all. Try to keep that covered so the bugs don't get in there. It says add to two tablespoons of water and heat. Should be good. That sausage is fully cooked, so just gotta kinda heat it up and whatnot. Trying to get a good good smoke flavor on the sausage though, you know what I mean? Ooh, that got smoky. I just got a message from the homie Kyle uh, from All Dogs Off Road. I'm fairly close by. He's probably gonna swig out and have a beer. Probably right when I'm eating dinner. May have let that fire die a little too much. There we go. Yeah, he was out there hunting. Alright guys, Kyle is showing up. I'm still in the middle of dinner here. I don't know if you see him over there. Yeah, there's his truck. There's Kyle. We've got a little bit of color on this weenie here, so we'll chop her up and toss it into the beans and rice as best we can. What you been up to, man? Anything new? No, not really. Working, yeah, sweating in this non AC shop. Oh, yeah, I forgot about that, man. It's probably been brutal the last few days. Yeah, Friday before we left, the shop temp was 103 inside. Jeez, yeah, at least the office is air conditioned, right? Yeah, and then you get a, get a break from it. Mm -hmm. All right, 
wasted in our beans and rice. Not spill it. Try not to spill it everywhere. Oh, I dropped one. Making red beans and rice. Yeah. Have you gone and seen the Barbie or Oppenheimer yet? I haven't. No. My wife only seen Barbie. Oppenheimer looks good, but I don't know if I can sit through a three-hour movie. That's kind of what I thought. I might wait for that one till it's out on, and, and I could just watch it at home. But yeah. yep, um, I, I have. I, I just don't have the patience, even though if the movie's good, to sit through three hours of a movie. No, it's like that's when you need the intermission, like they used to have. Yeah. Give me an hour and a half, and then give me a half-hour break. Or even like split up two and one, do something. But yeah. Just over here leaking because I'm standing over the fire. <laughs> All right, y'all. Well, dinner's ready. I'm gonna eat in front of Kyle. He's already had dinner. Um, he did bring me a drink, and we'll try this probably later since I've got one open. But it's one of the Sunny D vodka seltzers. I've heard they're really good. Yeah, they're not bad. You they liked it. They, they taste like Sunny D, and they're not as, like, in my opinion, like, I'm not a big fan of seltzers. Yeah, me either. Seltzers and me are, like, as people say, they taste like TV static. Yes. It's, it's not as staticky as, like, most of the stuff, so they're, they're drinkable. You get a little bit more flavor out of it? Yeah. All right, red beans and rice with some swassage in there, guys. Not too shabby, that was easy. But we gotta try some hot sauce on there. You're a hot sauce guy, you can try this, I suppose. What is it? Uh, the General's Hot Sauce Danger Close, it's one of the grenade bottles. Oh, so our True Value Bias has it, has this stuff. Have you tried it yet? I haven't. Speaking of hot sauce, I bought, uh, Target has like a Hot Ones pack of uh, like a seasoning, mm. a hot sauce, and a marinade, and our dog got into the seasoning tonight, so we'll see how he is. Oh <laughs> man. Our wa his water was gone. I bet he was thirsty <laughs> after that. Yeah. You can't really see, it's like a closed lid, doesn't look like it. I'm a little leery of this one. I think it's pretty spicy. So we're just gonna do a dab on a bite here. I'll burn my insides out. If you guys, oh yeah, you should be able to see that, maybe. It's like gonna come out really crazy like. Ooh, it's a really thick sauce. So there's a little bit on that. That's hot. <laughs> but that's really good. It's got like a Almost like a mango something kind of flavor to it. It's the danger close one. Hmm. I can't, I don't think it says anything on there. Yeah, it's a really thick sauce. It almost doesn't even want to come out of the grid. Oh, I got a huge chunk on there. It's all hot sauce right there. That might have been a little bit much. Oh, I'm dripping. Not bad though, not bad at all. No, that's just a really thick sauce. Oh man, that's hot. You wanna try that? There's yeah, sure. habanero chips. Sure, why not? Uh, we'll add some heat to some heat. Queso blanco if you wanna go for some of that on there. Not a bad flavor to it though, but it's, yeah, it's like really thick. Yeah, it's like super thick. Holy cow. Super thick, yeah. I have a feeling I'm going to get way too much. Mm -hmm. There we go. Yeah, it sneaks up on you a little bit. Yeah. No, it's good though. It's not bad. Oh, there's the heat. Yeah, it's, yeah. it's warm. Yeah, I guess if you had a lot more, it'd probably be too much. Yeah, we had some. I gotta get a paper towel. Oh, it's, it's paper. still built. <laughs> yeah. Oh. It's a creeper. Uh. 
Yeah, it's got a kick to it. We bought some hot sauce from, or didn't buy it, but we use Uline for work for all of our boxes and. Oh yeah. I wish I could figure out what the brand was. Is so this we, something they sent you? Yeah. So if you buy so much stuff, they give you a free gift. Oh, here we go. It's by Bravado Spice Company. That's got a kick to it. And they send you like a four pack, and this is what like the flavors are. Oh, and this bad. this Serrano basil one is amazing. Like we, it's super smoky and it's got like just enough heat to work with everything. Yeah. It was really good. And then there's like a pineapple one, and then there's a. How's the pineapple one? It's good. It's their it's their most mild one. And then there's also a blackberry ghost pepper one, and mm. it's not hot. Like it's just really like tart and bitter, and like you get the tartness of the blackberry with a little bit of heat, but mm. it's not. We were kind of disappointed in that one. That was the one we were all like, ooh, this is probably going to be good. And then that Serrano basil one by far is the best. But yeah, that, that one lingers. You know it's decent when it lingers. Yeah, and it's, you know, some of them you get them and they have just like that vinegar taste mm -hmm. to them. That, that's got a good flavor to it. Like but I'm incredibly surprised how thick, <laughs> yeah. how thick it is. It's like it's, a paste. Yeah, it's like thicker than ketchup. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Even like at, at the outdoor temperature, it's still thick. <clears throat> yeah, I mean, it has been in the cooler for a while, but looks like you can't get a drop. Oh, I got a drop. <laughs> That's all you need. Oh, it's white in here. A little bit anyways. Do that one too. Maybe a little farther forward. There we go. Ish. Alright. Made it into the van. It was nice hanging out with Kyle and having a beer. I always try to hit up the local homies if I'm gonna be somewhere in their area and I was I knew I was pretty close to him so Figured I'd send him a message and see if he wanted to come out and have a beer. So he took off not too long ago. Uh, dinner was great. Obviously, it was, I don't want to say it was interrupted because I invited him out. It was just uh, not the greatest timing. You know what I mean? But dinner was good. The hot sauce was great. And uh, I didn't even eat any of my bread. So I don't know. But we've got a, we've got that Sunny D to try that. Kyle brought out for me, but I'm going to get my little fan set up that I bought in the last video and see what happens. I know somebody's going to yell at me, but I did not charge the batteries in these. So I'm just going to have to run them plugged in for now, which is fine. I just need to get some air flowing through here. Uh, I'll have to look again at the forecast, but I believe they like took 90% of the rain out of the forecast. So I don't think we have anything to worry about. I'll definitely check it again before I finally crawl in bed, but let's try to get these things going. Got my backpack up here with the battery pack in it somewhere. There we go, battery pack. one of these into this and I can leave it over here maybe the wind is kind of blowing more towards the back of the van but it's blowing a little bit that way so we'll do this side sucking air out I've got a feeling this is, I'm not gonna be able to leave this sit here all night but somebody said I know you guys can't really see what I'm doing over here, but somebody said, stick it in the screen area, if you can. I guess I wasn't even looking at the right side. Oh, they said close the window and wedge it in there, but the window's on the outside. Didn't even think about that. So that won't work. Let me just move 
this spring thing down and wedge it in there that way. That'll work. I don't know, it's in the window. <laughs> That's all that matters. And then this other one, one fly in here that I've seen so far. Dang old flies. This other one will run off our battery box. The bigger one that I've got under the bed. And then stupid flies in here. And then I actually had the lights turned on in here for the first time at night. But uh, if you just twist the light over, mm, you guys probably barely see that. If you just push it to the side, they'll turn on. Which is nice to have. I just have not had the, the interior light system turned on. But I'll leave that. I'll leave that on for now, and that way if I wake up in the middle of the night, I know I can just reach up and push a light on. Maybe eventually we'll change all those out to LEDs or something, but... That one's got like the two seconds of charge I put to it. Oh man, this is not good. I left this thing on since yesterday. And the battery is almost dead. <laughs> that was really dumb. Hopefully it'll run all night. Otherwise I'm going to be pretty bummed. I'll just set that up here. It should run this fan all night. These fans all night for sure. I can't believe I left that on the entire night. Turned it on yesterday when I filmed the video. Now this one's a little different since I've got the plug sticking out the backside. You guys probably can't see me. It's going to be a little bit harder to stick it in the windowsill here. I just don't really want to be pushing on the screen super hard either though. Well. I got air going through as best as I can. Yeah. I bet if I ran my big fan all night, it would kill the batteries. For now, I'm actually just going to leave this one over here and point it at me. Give myself a little bit of airflow. Turn that thing on high. They move a decent amount of air. Like, I can feel it. I can feel it on high about right here, probably four foot away. I've got some uh, different shorts and stuff I can change into later too, and a different t-shirt that's dry. Overall, not too shabby though, not too shabby. At this point, I don't really plan to close my curtains up. I'm not too worried about it right now. One thing that I did want to mention that I figured out a couple of days ago, if you guys can see what I'm doing here. On these back door panels, or the back side panels, these side panels over here. The speaker's below the bed now since I put this bed in here. But when they built these vans, they used panels for a lot of different configurations. So you can feel right here, there's a circle cut out that's probably like four inches, probably a four inch circle because in some models they would have had a speaker right here uh, and it's exactly the same on both sides and if you go down a little bit lower on the panel there's like some square notches where there's some uh, little square notches like where they would have had probably switches some of these the factory beds were electric uh, to move up and down may have been back there some of these had uh, a console right here with vents in it that pointed forwards. Um, I guess I don't feel anything in that panel at all. But on the side panel, 
that's on the side panel that's behind the cooler right now where this little bump out is there's a couple of holes in that and there's one perfect one right in the middle on the side that's round where they probably in some models would have had a speaker or maybe a six by nine stuffed in there but there's nothing in this one so anyways with that said I need to probably get get rid of these shorts because it's stuffy in here. Yeah, you're just gonna probably you guys will probably get annoyed with me after a while uh, from how often I talk about the the lack of circulation in these vans. Um, for these to have been put out with like as a camper conversion with like a bed in the back. It just, it does kind of surprise me that the ventilation inside of here is so poor. Um, it's probably still like 75 degrees outside and the low temperature looks like it went up. It's currently 76, feels like 76, yeah. But the humidity, if you can see, look at that humidity, 93%. Just so you guys know, I'm not feeding you, feeding you some bullshit here. It's right there. I don't know if it's not focusing. Yeah, 93% humidity. So that's where it gets really uncomfortable. But why don't we get ourselves a movie going and crack open that Sunny D? Now that I've used my table, I guess I can put the movie on the cooler. But. I'm going to change into some different shorts, get my belt off and whatnot. All right. What are we going to watch on here? So I'm going to watch a movie called Occupation. Uh, I know my device is offline. Anyways, Occupation. It's on Prime, Amazon Prime right now. It's from 2018, it's got four stars, so it looks all right. A ragtag group of townspeople unite to strike back at alien invaders in this explosive sci-fi film that grips from start to thrilling finish. Um, considering the whole alien thing as of recent, they're finally admitting it. Uh, or it's all just smoke and mirrors, who knows. But. Either way, I guess it's somewhat on topic for current events. I think, I really do think my, I'm doing this just because I'm, I'm sitting on it and I like roll, I move forward and it kind of rolls off the edge. I don't know. We'll see about that. But Get this movie going. I need to stop that. Grab that Sunny D. We got to give that a whirl. So yeah, I guess if you guys haven't seen this, or if you don't know what Sunny D is, Sunny D is like, man, this is terrible. Sunny D was a, uh, it's like an orange breakfast drink. Uh, it's not necessarily orange juice, but it's an orange breakfast drink. And they've come out with a Sunny D seltzer. And I've seen it advertised, but I've only seen it available in four packs. And I don't really feel like buying a four pack because I'm not a huge seltzer guy. But Kyle brought one out for me to give, a, give it a shot. And what does it say on here? Probably not much. Sunny D Vodka Seltzer, so it's a vodka drink, 4.5%, and it's just vodka, sparkling water, orange flavor, and other natural flavors is all it says. I've heard it's pretty good.
not terrible. It's still a seltzer. So keep that in mind. Um, I was gonna pour it in the cup, but it's clear. So no reason to do that. I mean, it's not bad. It does have a Sunny D flavor. It's been a long time since I've had Sunny D, but not terrible. But it's a dang old skinny glass, skinny can, so it's not gonna fit in a koozie. Or I'll just dump it, but. Anyways, yeah, I've gotta move the cooler over here, I guess, to watch the movie, because I wanna chill in that corner. Definitely need more furniture. I don't know. I don't know what I'm talking about. Because this is now, it seems like it's low. I don't know. I feel like the cooler is above the bed in the truck. Gotta get back in front of that fan though. Yeah, that's like super far away. <laughs> got to a point where I didn't think that movie was ever going to end. It's two hours long. I didn't realize that. Wasn't bad. Uh, 119 minutes, yeah. Started out a bit stronger, I'd say, and kind of, I don't know, I felt like it was a little bit drug out and over-dramatized for what it was, what it kind of needed to be, but... It wasn't a bad movie, I'd say. Uh, okay. <sighs> Ew, yeah, I didn't realize that was gonna go on so long and I barely drank any of this thing. Uh, probably should lock my doors. The, the boogeyman doesn't get me. <laughs> shirt and crash out so I'll see you guys in the morning And the fans ran all night, but it was warm in here, that's for sure. I spent some time, God, I woke up, I don't know, like 3.30ish, checked the weather, couldn't fall back to sleep, so I started looking at junkyards. <laughs> See if I could find those pop-out windows and 
according to the internet, there's a junkyard in Lincoln that's supposed to have a pair of them. And I think they're only like 40 bucks a shot. That's if the website's correct. So that would be awesome. I don't know. I'm going to have to go check on that stuff. Oh, yeah. oh crap. Mm, boy, how do I tell you what? Uh, shave my dome. Although it didn't keep me any cooler in here last night, I don't feel like. But this thing ran all night. Did I use... It didn't even use one full bar of juice. So, I was alright without... With the busted... <laughs> or with the battery that I had left turned on all night. Got ourselves some Duncan. I love this stuff. It's like the only iced coffee I really care for. Oh. But, uh, it's a beautiful night, minus the warp. kind of plan to go to another spot um, head on down the road a little farther for the next one but I might try to go find some window I can't stop yawning I might find see if I can pick up those windows and whatnot that might be the next install it doesn't really help me though because there's no screens on those windows so I'll have to fashion something up myself but that whole thing popped out and it does pop out probably about two inches on the bottom you know way more airflow in here I'm sure and if I can get ones for these side doors too that would be amazing chair out there, left my wood toad out there, I gotta pick that junk up, I didn't bring anything for breakfast, unless I want to eat tater chips and cheese, I guess I do have a, oh I got pistachios, it's not really breakfast either, I haven't had a donut in a while, maybe we should try to go find a donut shop this morning on the way home. Other than just a gas station donut, like go to an actual donut shop. I think that's the plan. I think that's the plan. Yeah. You guys want to go get a donut? Oh, what do I do with the keys? Oh, heave ho! Heave ho, homies. Probably still dark enough for headlights, I guess. Get a little air conditioning going up in here. Ooh, it feels good. I need to aim the headlights on this thing too. I noticed one of them is the passenger ones like pointed straight up. He's been recognized by the American Heart Association and American Stroke Association's Mission Lifeline EMS Gold Honor Roll Award. Responses to heart attacks, Here we are and in Lincoln. You can barely see the Capitol building sticking up over there. One of these days, we're going to actually have to go out there and tour it. You can get a tour of it every day. Uh, like Monday through Friday, they do tours like on the hour or something like that. So one of these days, we'll go check that out. I don't know how they would feel about me filming, but I guess just do some discreet filming with my phone. Because uh, I know you can go all the way to the top, so we'll have to do that soon. Just check it out. You've got a little pyramid thing here that goes over the street.
Could I get a frosted strawberry donut and a glazed blueberry? And that'll be it. Okay. Um, I'll do a Boston cream. All right, thank you. Hello, we tried two donuts? Yep. this dashboard without it falling running away from me don't run away camera what did I get got a cream filled and a blueberry really one of the dang old strawberry I haven't had a Dunkin donut in a while the schnozberries taste like schnozberries mm. that's pretty good Another successful night of camping in the truck. Nothing crazy, a simple dinner, and just a simple evening, but we're slowly getting the kinks worked out of this setup. Fingers crossed, maybe by the next video, I will have acquired a set of pop-out windows. I probably only needed to buy one donut this morning, so I don't eat a lot of breakfast usually. Mm. I was banging. It was off the chain. I yeeted it into my belly. What are all the, the dang old kids saying these days? Tell you what, I don't even know what to do when they're talking. I can't keep up with them. Well, I think I'm just going to go ahead and close this one out. Appreciate you guys tuning in and all that nonsense. Channel hit 95,000 subscribers a few days ago, uh, which is crazy in my opinion. Still, like, I say it every time, it's hard to wrap your mind around when you're in this type of position to be able to do what I'm able to do, and it's all because of you. I love you guys for it. Uh, huh. 100K coming up. I'm excited for that. I'm trying to trying to brainstorm on something something wild to do maybe for 100k. Uh, got a couple ideas, but we'll see what happens. Anyways, y'all, stay tuned for the next adventure. I'll see you in a bit.